Hi, this is Coach Joe Lucas, and welcome to this episode of the Magellan Network Show. Hey, I hope you're having a great summer, uh, doing the best you can in these very interesting times. Uh, I wanted to uh, kind of take a break today and just kind of talk to you a little bit about goals, right? Um, I, this is going to sound very rudimentary for some of you, very um, kind of basic, um, but I think uh, there's been a lot of misconceptions about, at least in our game, how we want to go ahead and set goals. And, and I know, like, why am I talking about goals in August? It should be something about December, January. Uh, because there's never a bad time to talk about success. So one of the things that I realized in my career um, was that when somebody sets a goal, right, and let's just say you say, hey, um, and I'm just just for, you know, this conversation, you know, I'm doing a half a million dollars of top line production. And uh, my goal is I want to get to a million dollars. Now, that may not be that may not be a one year goal. That may be a two or three year goal. Right. Depending on, on your situation. Well, let's just play this out. So I want to go from five hundred a million dollars. All right. So that's great. So the first thing I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to kind of take you through this little process. And what I'd love you to do is kind of apply it to you, to what you've got on your board in terms of goals. And uh, if you don't have goals because of our great pandemic of uh, 2020, then you're definitely in survival scarcity mode. You want to get out of that and you want to start setting some goals. Even today, don't wait till 2021 and I'll pick it up in January. No, no, no. Start playing your game now. Back to our, back to our topic. So if I go from a half a million to a million dollars, that's my goal. First question, why? Right? And, and it has to be something that's going to be internal, emotionally meaningful for you. Uh, it can't be, well, because I want to or because I've been in this business for 15 years and, and that's where I should be at the end of it. Like that's not going to get you up in the morning to do your morning ritual. That is not going to get you to walk through the fire that you're going to have to walk through. So there has to be something there. Now, whys come into a couple of different categories. A why can be something that you want for yourself or maybe something for your family, for your loved ones, right? Whatever your, whatever your emotional drivers are, that's what I want. And think of it like that box, right? So I've got the goal. Here's the box, the why box, okay? The why. Why do you want it? And I want you, the way I play it is I want you to convince me, like if I was your coach, I would want you to give me the narrative why I should buy into the goal. Right. Because a lot of guys worry about the how a lot of advisors worry about, well, how am I going to get there? Right. And we all do the same thing. Right. We get the uh, I don't have it here. We get the calculator out and, oh, I got to bring in X amount of dollars per month, AUM. And and, you know, I got to do this much of premium and da, 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 da. And we pencil whip that sucker. And you've done that your entire career. The hows are the easy part of the game. The why is what's going to really set you apart. So you have to have a powerful why, because that is going to be your emotional driver. And that's what's good. And that's important. Most guys, most advisors don't think in terms of emotional drivers. They think in terms of math. Math will not get this job done for you. That's why you struggled. So that's box number one. Box number two is actually the how we're going to do it. Right. So and I don't want the math in terms of why well, X amount of dollars. I mean, I get all that. I want to know what the behavior is. I, I've got to ask for more referrals. No, you don't. That's nebulous. How many more? Right. Well, what, you know, how are we going to develop new business? And let's face it, in our game, how do you develop new business? There's only two paths. Uh, path number one, current clients, can we do more business with them? Uh, we call it optimization. Do we have all their outside assets? Have we written all, all the insurance? Do they have a financial plan, net worth statement? You know, have we really taken that client and, and really indoctrinated them into what we're doing? The only second path is new clients. 1A1, dude, that's it. 1A, 1B. Only two paths here, right? So on the so path B, how are we going to get new clients? What's our referral game? What's our COI game? What's our digital marketing game? Right? What are we doing to get new clients? Right? One A, one B. So so the how tos are important, but not in the way that you think. It's not about pencil whipping out. I got to bring in X. We that's simple. I need to know the action steps you're going to take in the how. All right? That's box number two. Box number three. And this is the one that's, this is more of a, a recent box. Um, I used to stop at, hey, who, you know, hey, why and how, right? So go, why, how? I've actually added a fourth box now. The fourth box is, so the goal box, the goal box is the one, why is two, how is three, box number four is, is this. And this is something we just rolled out this year, this past year in business planning. Who do you need to become to pull this off? And, and I'm not going to spend, this could be a whole four-hour conversation, which we're not going to do here. Um, but the who you have to become is, is something that I've been really working on the last couple of years. 
See, if I'm if I'm talking to an advisor and they're and they're doing a half a million dollars of production, and they want to get to a million dollars, the advisor in front of me, I understand who the half a million dollar advisor is. That human being, right? They have their habits, their behaviors, their belief systems, their self image, how they talk to themselves. That's that's the person today. That person will never be a million dollar producer. That person will never be a million dollar producer. Why? Because that person has got to elevate to do that. So box number four is now the most important box. Who do you need to become in order to pull this off? And if the answer is, oh, I like who I am, hey, Godspeed. You'll never get to a million dollars. You may hit some 650, you may, may climb the mountain a little bit, but trust me, you're going to slide back. The question is, who do you need to become? What are some of the answers? Maybe you need to become more disciplined. Maybe you need to become more fearless. Maybe you've got to embrace the real game inside of our, our world. You know what that game is? The game of being uncomfortable. Doing the things that you know you need to do, but you find uncomfortable, like talking about referrals to your clients, asking for more business, raising your fees, right? Elevating your service model. Who do you need to become to pull it off? You need to be asking yourself that question each and every day, each and every morning. So whatever your vision is, and when you say, well, I need to be a better leader, like as a hypothetical, the word better, while it's a step in the right direction, I need you to further clarify that. what specifically do you need to do better? You need to better do a better job actually holding team meetings. You need to do a better job at actually articulating your vision to your team. You need to do a better job at holding your team accountable to the standards. Oh, wait a second. Maybe we need to set some standards first, right? These are all elements of, of evolving, like we call it the shift and the pivot. What most advisors don't understand is you just can't operate one mode and keep scaling up. What you need to do is say, okay, I've, 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 I've taken my model to half a million dollars. I've been trying for the last several years to kind of push through and elevate. And I, I kind of scratch and claw, but I always seem to slide down the mountain or slide down the wall. It's because the standards, the, the systems, the psychology that's gotten you to half a million dollars will not get you to a million dollars. We call it the shift. And the shift is the pain, the pain of change, the pain of elevation, the pain of being uncomfortable. And if you're making a half a million dollars and you feel pretty comfortable, this is your challenge to get yourself out of that comfort zone to move things forward. So who do you need to become to be a million dollar person? As an example, right? Those are questions that you need to, you know, I need to, I need to get up earlier. I need to be more disciplined. Okay, great. So what do we need to do about that? Like this is the redefinition of who you are as a person. Remember this, the person elevates first before the pocketbook does, all right? So if any of this made sense to you, I would love to have you come spend a couple of weeks with me inside of Magellan Network, MagellanNetwork.net. Uh, this is the game that we play. We play the game of elevation. We play the game of shift and pivot. We play the game of success. Have a great day. See you on our next episode. So there you have it. If you really enjoyed watching this episode, go ahead and subscribe to the Magellan Network Show with Coach Joe here on YouTube. And remember, I'm always here to help you become a better entrepreneur, business owner, and financial advisor. With that, I'll see you next time on the Magellan Network Show with me, Coach Joe. Take care and goodbye.